Candace Crime Insider sources say that boy's body found in a blue can in Fairfield Court had obvious signs of trauma. Yeah. Evidence collected and stored. More than two city blocks taped off here in Richmond's East End Wednesday afternoon. It's disgusting. It's despicable, man. I can't, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I mean, every time you turn around, there's a gunshot. Crime Insider sources tell me major crimes detectives discover a teenage boy's body in a blue trash can. Those same sources believe he was put there after a shooting earlier in the day. Detectives executed a search warrant at this Fairfield Court apartment home on 23rd Street. It is troubling how he was found, um, how, you know, we can discard life that way. Chief Gerald Smith didn't want to get into the specifics of the investigation because it's early, but he does want the community to come forward. This is all of us, and we should all be heartbroken, and we should all be uh, even more engaged about solving these crimes and, and helping our kids out. And youth violence has spiked over the past few weeks. Kevin Starlings sits on a health and advisory board for Richmond Public Schools, saying the no snitch mentality is literally killing kids. Share that information in order to really change the community because this will continue to go on and on uh, if we as a community don't step up uh, and do our part. I mean, you're killing your own. Put the guns down. This is ignorant. It is. I mean, guns, guns shots all day long in this neighborhood throughout the whole city. Put the guns down, people. And J.J. Miner there from Richmond's chapter of the NAACP, obviously frustrated over today's news. The teenage boy's body, Bill and Candace, is here at the medical examiner's office in downtown Richmond, where we await an official cause of death.